here and I have my kit for you for April for how to kill a kit with style. Let me show you the most adorable mug that my friend got me. It's Ray Dunn. I don't want to spill the coffee so I'm going to hold it just like this. My Ray Dunn Create mug. I love it so much. I'm tr going to try to use it every time I am getting scrappy to help motivate me to create. Uh, and so let's just dive right in. I do, it looks like I do have a bunch of stuff here. I kind of do, but I'm hoping that I can put a really good dent into a lot of it. And they're kind of in a couple different categories. So I have some springy stuff and kind of, you know, summery stuff. And then I have some of the family and COVID type stuff because obviously that's that's just an ongoing thing that's still happening in our lives and so I really wanted to take some time to work on my traveler's notebook for that. So a lot of the kits that I have here that I've pulled out are close to my heart kits from Jen Smith and I just really wanted to use them and show you how gorgeous they are. So this one is called Blue Skies. It's the paper pack with stickers. I really love their stickers. This one has um, the glossy effect on them, like in the word time. I don't know if you can see there. And then I just love their kind of cardstock matte finish too. So this one is, you can see, kind of spring and summer. And then the papers here, I have shown these in more detail, but I'll just give you a quick glimpse so that this video isn't too, too long, but you can see it's kind of summery and spring. And then there's these papers here. Just really bright, fun colors. Love the greens and the blues. The pops of yellow work really nice in here. It's got things like our happy place, make your own joy. So, you know, it's got that kind of spring summer vibe to it, but it doesn't have to be used for that. So I thought that it would be a really versatile collection lots of papers with this one. So that is all of them. And then I have this one, which again is the paper pack and the stickers. Very different feel to it. This one's called Aurora and it's very Alberta Rocky Mountains. So I was just so excited to see it. It's got all the blues and greens, which are my favorites. And then it has everything that we need to document all of the hikes that we took last summer that we're starting up again and going into the mountains and things like that. So here are the stickers. And in this case, they have some gold or some green. Is there any blue? Nope, I think it's all just green foil. And then the papers are just those beautiful, deep, dark blues and greens. So those are gonna be really fun to use. This one you have seen already because I used it in March, but as you can see, I have lots left over and I thought it would be fun to maybe document um, our Easter this year if I can get my button gear and get some current pictures <laughs> printed out. Uh, so this one's called Daisy Meadows and it's just that really pretty pastels and kind of dainty Easter. So here are the stickers and then these are the papers that I have already cut into, as you can see. And then I have these, oops, there's enamel dots that come with this one. And then I have these two full pieces left over. And then right along with more of the Close to My Heart, this is the April and March mix-ins that you get. They're just really fun kind of generic backgrounds and nice bright colors that match most of the collections that come out seasonally. So they're a good add-on to kind of beef up the, the paper packs that you've been getting. So these are the ones I have left over. I've used two of them already. And then there are the patterns on the back. So, and then the last collection that I have from Close to My Heart is one of the COVID collections. This one's called In This Together. And again, you can see I've used up a bunch of the stickers and I've cut into the papers. So there's these three patterns here. The yellow. Then here we've got this really fun 
uh, pattern with the masks. I'm going to flip it over. There's green on the back, and then here are the other ones. I like this one. I like the font, the toilet paper. And this one I'm looking forward to using up this, this month. And there are the last. So again, that one is a bigger collection. And then going along with the COVID feel, I pulled out my photo play collection that I got from Scrapbook Your Joy. This one's called Can We Just Stay Home? So it has more of a fun kind of like hanging out with your family, family games night, you know, building forts and stuff like that. It doesn't have to be COVID, but it is kind of along those same lines of being at home and spending that time during lockdown with our family. So I've got bits of ephemera that go with this one. Lots of fun like tags and different labels and things like that. And then the sticker sheet. And then again, you can see I've cut into it because I've created a layout with it already. But you've got the fun sloth and these bright colors. Definitely that's a thing for me. I'm going for all the bright colors this month. The cut apart sheet. And then also these patterns. There's that sloth again. So let's see what's on the other side. Oh, that beautiful yellow. This fun one right here. So I already used one of these. I used this side of it, so there's also that. This one here, the fun rainbows, perfect for spring. And that's the other side of it, is these cut apart pieces. So that's my COVID material. And also just, again, they're bright, fun colors. There's lots of kind of just nice, bold patterns that you can use for anything. So I thought that it would be a really versatile collection to add. And then what I did is I went ahead and threw in a bunch of Studio Calico paper. I have been holding on to this forever and ever. I actually gave a lot of it away. Um, just patterns where I had gotten, you know, three, four of them. When you, I uh, used to do the Black Friday deals and you would just get the surprise packs. Sometimes you would get a pack that had maybe like five pieces of exactly the same thing. And it's actually been at least five years, probably six years since I had a Studio Calico subscription. So these are old papers. Um, so I threw them all in here. I won't show you each individual one, but basically what I did is I pulled out all of the papers that I thought were good backgrounds. Um, or, you know, good for layering and things like that. So that's what I've kind of decided that I want to put a good dent in. I'm going to try to use pattern paper in all of my backgrounds for the month of April. It's going to be a big task, but I think I'm going to be able to do it. So I've got lots of patterns to choose from here and lots of different colors and feels and stuff. So there's those and these. You can see again, just lots of different feels, colors. They're all different. They're from, some are just Studio Calico, some are Tim and Beck, um, some are like Allison Pennington, just whatever, this is little butterfly wings, just whoever designed for them, whatever I had, I pulled out all of the, the backgrounds. At the end of the month, I've been sort of putting a few little things away to put together a giveaway as I'm working towards 2,000 subscribers. So I think if I hit that goal, maybe in May or June, um, I'll throw a bunch of these papers in that I don't get used either and put a big giveaway together for everybody. So stay tuned for that. And if you see anything you like, let me know because it could be coming up in the giveaway. So then for my embellishments, I've pulled out these sequin hearts that I got from Dollarama. I just thought they were really pretty and different. 
I pulled out these flat backed pearls from BB Craft because they have the, those beautiful spring colors. I grabbed all of these die cut packs that I got from Dollar Tree and Dollarama because again they have all those beautiful butterflies and flowers and feathers and just really pretty spring and kind of summery feel to them. I decided I'd like to go and put a dent in these tags. These are another thing that may end up in my giveaway. Um, just a bunch of sheets of these different tags. They're really fun. I don't know why I don't grab for them and use them up more. But I got them um, also at Dollarama, but they're from uh, Die Cuts with a View. I'd like to get these pink fresh puffy stickers used up. These are my favorite. They're the soft puffy sticker. I love them so much. I only have a few bits and pieces left over, so I'll get those used up. These are from Dollar Tree and they're those fake enamel dots. I have them in the bright kind of rainbow colors and then I found these ones in the pretty soft pastel kind of springy colors. I thought I would throw this in. It's from one of my sampler packs and I just, I think I need to make a layout and um, use this as my title in some way about myself. Just needing a little bit of a reminder that, you know, taking your, your life day by day, one step at a time and just doing your best is enough. Um, yeah, <laughs> I have a few of these left over from Paige Evans, also came in a sampler pack, but again, it's those spring colors, they're really pretty little, they're cardstock, but they actually um, are meant to look like washi tape. Storm is so upset that everybody's outside, including the dog, except her, sorry about that. This is also from Paige Evans, and it's washi tape strips, so I thought I would throw that in there with those spring colors. And then I still have my um, basic gray flat alphas. A few of you asked for what the other sheets were that I have, so I thought I would pull them out and show you everything I have. I think this is everything I have. Sometimes these just kind of pop out of nowhere, so um, you know, I've tucked them away for a specific project or whatever, but I think this is everything I have. So these are navy and then these are red with green dots, kind of a Christmassy feel to them. These ones have kind of that grungy, um, like mint and aqua and lime green feel, and then the black. These actually have little, uh, they're almost like a buffalo plaid or like a print like that in red with a bit of a black and then black. These ones here are super kind of grungy and distressed. They're called eerie, so I think they maybe were meant to go with some of their Halloween stuff. These are called out of print. There's a whole collection of out of print uh, and they all have that kind of newspaper or book print in the background and like swipes of paint and stuff like that across them. These ones are really pretty. They're bubblegum pink with red dots and then this is like a faded distressed black. These ones, they're called Nook and Pantry so I wonder if they go with a food collection uh, and then so you've got brown and then you've got this kind of pretty pink that has a lot of distressing in more of a brown tone. This one is the same or very close to the same font, almost identical actually, it is identical to this font, um, but this is in the green with little polka dots and then a cream with polka dots. This is uh, like a blush pink or like a rose pink and then here is kind of like this pretty, I don't know, wine color I guess you would say. Um, this one is red and then the light blue, very pretty. I like how big and bold that one is. Whoops. This one is lined paper, so it looks like just a lined notebook paper, but some of them have little dots on them, uh, and some of them have just little swipes of distressing on them, and then kind of a red with little bits of black. They're not quite polka dots, but here and there it looks like polka dots, like someone maybe took um, an ink pad and kind of dropped it or swiped it across. So those are all of the 
uh, basic gray alphas that I'm still working to get used up. And that is my kit for this month. So it's a, it's a big one, so it'll probably be April and maybe moving into May. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I also always throw in my American Craft sticker books, other little bits and pieces that I find along the way, but I think this is going to be a really fun kit to play with this month and kind of focus on spring and family and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, if you have any questions or I went over anything too quickly please let me know in the comments down below let me know what your kit for April is what products you're really excited to get used up this month and until next time happy scrapping thank you so much for watching bye